everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Trader Joe's Diamond Reserve 2019 Pouillac from Bordeaux, France. That was a lot to say. It's 13% alcohol by volume and I believe it was $20 when I was at Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's typically has some pretty good self-branded wines. Um, and not necessarily the three buck chuck stuff or four buck chuck depending on inflation and all that stuff. Uh, but like their mid-tier and like going into like that $12 to $20 range. They have some pretty solid things. They actually had a sparkling rosé for a while. That was a traditional method and it was fantastic. I'd put it up there at value-wise, probably even even maybe a little bit better than Grand Beck. And I'm a huge fan of the Grand Beck sparkling rosé. The Trader Joe's one I think was better for the value. All right, from a color standpoint, I'm gonna give you a medium ruby, no artifacts, no cloudiness. On the nose, Woo, you smell like a Bordeaux. So I'm getting this black cherry, a little bit of blackberry. There is a, kind of like a, a black currant jam, touch of plum, a lot of just general baking spices. I'm kind of getting like a, a little a hint of cinnamon, a little bit of clove, some, some allspice. And as I've let it open up, there's also like a little bit of a strawberry note in here as well. Maybe like a small amount of kind of cedar. Yeah, it's just got a lot of stuff going on in the nose. Oh, and the alcohol actually smells, smells like it's high. It does give a little bit of a nose burn, but I know it's only 13%, so I'm just wondering, is it just releasing a lot right now? Anyway, let's get to the taste. All right, medium plus tannins, full body, medium alcohol, medium plus acid, medium plus intensity, almost pronounced intensity. There's just a few elements that are kind of missing there at being at that intense level. Otherwise, I would give it, I would give it that. So now I'm gonna skip ahead so I can actually determine how long the finish is. Medium plus finish, it's a dry wine and let's get to the blick. So from a balance standpoint, full point. I mean, I, it's, it's well done. It's really well done. It's what you would hope for when you buy a French Bordeaux. So like I said, full point. Length, medium plus finish, 0.75. Intensity, medium plus on the nose, medium plus on the palate, 0.75. And in terms of complexity, I'm, uh, this is difficult because the only thing that would make this more complex is if you let it age. It's got great secondary, it's got great primary. So what I'm gonna say is, if you were Looking at the swine, and you're going to be drinking it at the time of the review, I'm going to give you a full point. If you expect the tertiary, then it's going to be like two thirds of a point. So for, for the point of this, I'm going to say this has aging potential. It will develop. It will get some of those glorious tertiary notes that you would hope to get out of an aged Bordeaux. So if, if you're someone who really has to have that aging characteristic, it's, it's two thirds of a point. If you're someone who's willing to drink it now, it has a lot of range. It has a lot of range and you're gonna get a full point out of it. Yeah, so with that being said, you're solidly very good. I'm really happy I bought this wine. I'm really, really happy I bought it. I'm really happy I will have another glass or two after this one to actually edit the video and stuff. Uh, the thing that is with this wine is it, it does have that potential to age. It can hold on for a bit if you cellar it well. You might actually end up getting more length out of it in the end and have it get even closer to almost that great level of threshold just because it, it just has so much room to continue to evolve. I mean, it's got great acid, it's got great tannins, it has great overall structure, great primary. It's just not great yet, but give it a little while and it could be. Anyway, this is Mr. Stewart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's review, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the 2019 Trader Joe's Diamond Reserve Poyak? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime.